Are you ready to awaken your dormant powers? The waxing crescent moon is the perfect time for new beginnings and growth, but a lot of the times we hold ourselves back and we doubt our abilities and we fear rejection. But what if I told you that that very first step towards reclaiming your power is within your reach? In this video, we're going to delve into the mysteries of the waxing crescent moon, and then we're going to consult the Karmic Warrior Oracle to discover how to overcome your fears, how to tap into your inner strength and take that first step towards showing up for yourself and in doing so, reclaiming your power. So don't miss out on this journey of self-discovery. Stay tuned. Hey there, yogis and yoginis. I'm Lisa Ingalls Witter and welcome to my channel where I help spiritual seekers just like you to harness the ancient wisdom of yoga to live an extra ordinary life. And the goal of this channel is super simple. It's just to make it easier than ever before for anyone to find happiness and fulfillment in their everyday life by using this wisdom that's already been handed down to us, been passed down to us for millennia. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I post new videos just like this one on a regular basis. We have just entered the phase of the waxing crescent moon, and this marks the beginning of a new lunar cycle. So this phase of the moon represents a first movement towards showing up and making our presence known, which is also about stepping into our power. The waxing crescent moon is this symbol of showing up for new beginnings for ourselves. It's, it's this symbol of growth and cultivating the energy that we need to cultivate in order to set intentions and then to take action on those intentions. Now, this is also a really, really good time to reflect on all the ways that we might be holding ourselves back and to identify the fears that we might have, the doubts that we might have that are preventing us from showing up fully and therefore not standing in our power. So we want to be cultivating during this time some level of self-awareness so that we can have self-realization in order to take those first steps towards expressing our power, towards standing in our power. Now, it is important to remember during this time that self-growth, obviously, and change, it can be really, really uncomfortable. It can be really, really challenging. In fact, if it's not uncomfortable and challenging, then I would question you um, whether or not you're, if you're staying in your comfort zone, you're probably not doing a lot of growing. But it's through these experiences that we learn that we evolve and that we grow on the spiritual path. So the waxing crescent moon is this reminder that we all, every single one of us has the ability to show up for ourselves and to make our presence known, but that it takes courage. It takes vulnerability and we need to lean into our vulnerabilities in order to do this. So now is the time to allow whatever wants to show up to show up and to em embrace the unknown in our lives. And as we move through this particular phase of the moon, what we can do is we can plan for self-expression, we can plan for our personal growth, we can plan for overcoming the resistance that we have to showing up for ourselves and, and abandoning ourselves. We don't want that. We want to be owning our power. We want to be activating and awakening our power. So three simple ways that you can do that are, number one, you can reflect on the ways that you might be holding yourself back and do that by identifying your fears or your doubts that are preventing you from showing up fully. The second thing that you might do is cultivate some self-awareness and self-reflection simply by setting aside some time each day for some journaling, 
for some meditation, for some contemplation, or practicing some other form of self-reflection. And then the third thing that you might want to do is embrace the unknown. Be open to new experiences and to new opportunities for self-expression. So what I'd like to do now is go ahead and ask the Karmic Warrior Oracle to give us some guidance as well. So here we got the Karmic Warrior Oracle and we are gonna be asking for guidance and the guidance that we're asking for is what's preventing me from showing up fully in my life? So if you hold that question in your heart, let's see what the Oracle has to give you, what advice it has to give you. So the card that we picked from the Oracle is from the Awaken suit and the message is revealing. I'll go ahead and read the message in just a moment. What's important is that we picked a card from the Awaken suit. So in this context, what the Oracle is telling us is that what's preventing you from showing up fully is not realizing who you really are. The, the Awaken suit is all about waking up, awakening to your true nature, understanding who you really are as a felt experience. What's important to know here is the sort of a nuance of this piece is that if you're someone who does a lot of personal growth work and you are always in the realm of the mind and you're trying to figure out, you're doing work on your beliefs and busting your beliefs and trying to change your beliefs and looking at your stories and trying to figure things out like where did my trauma come from and where did all of this crap in my life come from? What's the history? And trying to make meaning of all of it, that is keeping you stuck. That is what the Oracle is telling you. It's time to to just set that aside for now because all of that work is a stepping stone to the next phase in your life of showing up. So it's time to realize who you really are aside from all the stories and the beliefs you have. No belief about who you think you are is who you are. So first and foremost, the, the Oracle is telling you it's time to awaken to your true nature by having a direct experience of it. Now, the message on the card is revealing. So let's go ahead and we're gonna take a look. What I love about the Karmic Warrior Oracle is that it always has two messages for us. And the, the top message is when we're fully in our power, how we'll experience this principle of revealing. When we're not in our power, how we'll experience is the bottom message, how we'll experience this principle of revealing. So I'm gonna read both messages. I want you to sit with which one feels more like you right now, okay? So the bottom message is taking things and people and experiences at face value. It's an inability to see a shared divinity in all that exists. And then the top interpretation says this, the ability to perceive divinity expressing itself in, as, and through all things. So what's preventing you from not showing up fully in your life is like having, not having the realization yet that divinity is expressed in, as, and through all things. Divinity is always revealing itself to you. And when you recognize that divinity is always revealing itself to you in a loving way, it's so much easier to show up. You're showing up for the divine in every moment. When you stop making it about yourself, when you stop making it about other people, 
or experiences and show up in your fullness for the divine, the divine celebrates, right? As we've explored throughout this video, the waxing crescent moon is a really powerful symbol of beginnings and growth. It's a reminder that we all have the ability to show up for ourselves and to make our presence known, but that it takes courage and it takes a vulnerability in order to do that. We looked at a few ways that we can overcome that resistance that might be holding us back. And then we got a key piece of guidance from the Karmic Warrior Oracle. Remember that this is a journey and it's not always easy, but it's totally worth it. The waxing crescent moon is a powerful reminder to take those first steps towards showing up for ourselves and to trust the unknown. So let's make the most of this phase of the moon and allow ourselves to shine bright. And finally, be sure to like this video, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. And until next time, be safe, be well, and namaste.